Hello, you're watching KC News with Anna Prophet. The main news of the week is Bitcoin halving. About the consequences, we'll talk with the expert of the cloud money and hash player, also in the release. The European Commission is tightening rules to combat money laundering, in particular regards to cryptocurrencies. Russian financial institutions have created a blockchain consortium. Direct speech from the 25th Financial Congress. The leading company's cooperation with cryptocurrencies and blockchain, Siemens Uber Hefe International. Life in the Ethereum, a game based on the Ether in the wake of civilization is created. More information about these and other events in a few seconds. A plan change of Bitcoin generation has been provided. The award for the new unit creation will be reduced by a half. Recalling, there is only a little more than 5 million bitcoins which can be handled by the network. What will happen after Halloween? We asked Hashplay expert Edgar Burrs. Hello, Edgar. Will the bitcoin rate change after the reduction? If yes, will it raise or fall? Hi, Anna. Uh, well, you're asking just one of the most popular questions right now. Well, bitcoin believers think that price will grow higher and they're right. However, we will see a lot of fluctuation, especially during the halving itself. The supply and demand will be different and probably the demand will be higher and the sub before the halving and supply will be higher after the halving and it will influence the price, well, a lot. But maybe in the month, maybe in August, uh, once uh, all this speculation is over, Mm, we will see the, the some stable prices and we will be able to make further predictions on what will happen with bitcoins in future. So what is the danger for the common miner of the reduction of earning for the block? Mm -hmm. Well, for those who mine uh, at mining farms using cheap electricity, not much will change. The only big deal here is the value of bitcoins. During the fluctuation period, um, there will be some minor losses, but we believe that in the end, probably in August, uh, once everything is stable, miners will not be suffering if the price compensates the reduction of the reward. And it will probably happen, this, happen that way. But what will happen to those who mine at home using their expensive electricity? Well, probably they won't mine until August, that's for sure. Thank you, Edgar. Recall that Bitcoin halving is a process built into cryptocurrency code and occurs once for every 210,000 blocks mined roughly every four years. The European Commission has adopted a proposal to strengthen the European Union rules in combating money laundering, terrorism financing and tax evasion reported in a press release on the official website of the European Union. According to the Vice President Franz Timmermans, the proposal will help national authorities to fund the citizens, hiding their finances to commit crimes such as terrorism. The changes will affect, first of all, cryptocurrency wallets aggregators and exchangers, which fall under the scope of the Anti-Money Laundering Directive. Kiwi for Russian banks and consulting company Accenture united in a consortium to work on blockchain technology. Creating passed during the 25th International Finance Congress organized by the Central Bank of Russia. On the Financial Congress in Plenary No. 5, Cutting Edge Technologies and Innovations in the Financial Market, Sergei Salonin, the head of Kiva Group, said, a change of the financial system in accordance with changes in user requirements will be provided soon. Banks today are faced with a serious threat, and this threat is not only from us, it is a fundamental threat to the market changes, changes of the values on the market. Today and in the next 10 years, the core values of this new digital marketplace are speed, simplicity, convenience, price and transparency. International Citibank is also working on the development of digitalization, said a senior innovation manager of City Innovation Lab, Amor Sexting. 
Our laboratories were studying new technologies, mobile phones, tablets, the other technologies that could be useful for our clients. But at the same time, we're investing in new and disruptive technologies, such as blockchain. We're looking for new concepts, such as P2P, national digital currencies. The digital products and innovation lead at Wizza Europe, Shahab Friedman, is sure. Digital payments must be in the spotlight even for his company, according to Bitcoin Info Detroit. Visa Europe noted the increase in mobile and contactless payments, which exceeded $3 billion over the past year. The company is interested in blockchain technology, therefore intends to follow the evolution of cryptocurrency space. News Digest, shortly about the main. Up next. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has recently published a report in which proposed to register and take part in the competition blockchain and its role in medicine and allied health researches. According to GetCoin.today, HHSS release offers to define the concept of blockchain technology and then to suggest ways of their possible use in the field of public health. In September 2016, the Netherlands will open the blockchain campus with the support of the government, in which banks and financial companies will conduct joint development of payment application based on blockchain. The role of the banks will be to provide the infrastructure for financial technology companies that provide customers with various services, said Director of the Financial Technology Department of the Bank of Russia, Vadim Kaluhev, on the FinTech Lab 2016, according to thefoclock.com. The president of Sberbank, Hermann Hreff, expressed a similar opinion on the Leave conference with contact to users. Everything related to the use of so-called distributed ledger, I see their future. The idea is genius and the technology is absolutely simple, but of course to be used in the banking sector, which implies absolute reliability, the year should pass. I don't think it's a lot of years, but two, three years is the deadline of the application of mass technologies, which is required. Ukraine could become the first country in the world converted the sale of state property to the transport digital system based on blockchain technology, according to the Minister of Finance of Ukraine Alexander Denluk. As he said on a direct speech by Skype on a Bitcoin Incredible Party C edition, new online auctions will be fully transparent and open. This technology will help eliminate corruption in government sales as well as save taxpayers' money. Leading Bitcoin exchange in India, Coin Secure became the country's first company to offer local entrepreneurs an opportunity to make payments in cryptocurrencies due to co-working with Bitcoin processor BitPay. James Walpole, BitPay representative, said in an official blog, this is a major advancement for Bitcoin in India and we are excited to work with CoinSecure to make Bitcoin payments more accessible to the country's merchants and consumers. Uber is working with Bitcoin, Siemens invests in blockchain and Hafa International accepts donation in Bitcoins. About this and other news immediately after the ads. Are you looking for lucrative investment opportunities? Try cryptocurrency cloud mining service Hashflare. You will get high returns on your investment and will be able to withdraw your money at any time. You can start investing from as little as $3 and it has never been easier to generate returns with Hashflare. Sign up today at hashflare.io. Siemens intends to invest in the development of new technologies, including blockchain, creating for this purpose a new unit, said the press release on its website. Next 47 program starts on the 1st of October 2016. The name of the project lies a reference to the date the company was founded, to 1847. With Next 47, we are living up to our company founders' ideals and creating an important basis for fostering innovation as we continue Siemens' development," said Joe Kether, President and CEO of Siemens AG. Next 47 offices will be located in Berkeley, Shanghai and Munich, and the project will be open to startups and companies wishing to realize their business ideas. The Argentine subsidiary of international giant Uber plans to cooperate with Bitcoin. 
Crypto setup Xapo representative said that the partnership will work on a global scale, according to Coindesk. The information says it will allow customers to use debit cards to pay for travel within the country and abroad. The SIA has announced the unveiling of trustless environment that is more secure than traditional file storage systems release, according to news.bitcoin.com. The platform uses smart contracts technology. Files are protected with a system called Twofish, which enables the formation of storage contracts between peers. The core developers of SIA, David Warwick and Luke Champagne, believe SIA will provide a fertile platform for decentralized cloud storage in trustless environments. The payment system in the real time. CamelotPay.com. Relations well. Emacoin, leading cryptocurrency and blockchain platform, focusing on innovative services, founded on the 8th of December 2013, capitalization more than $5.5 million, target long-term work without failures and errors. Emacoin's blockchain participates in the system blockchain as a service, which was created by Microsoft for Azure. Currency uses proof-of-work and proof-of-stake mining. Cryptography SHA-256, like Bitcoin, goes to the joint mining of Bitcoin and Emacoin, March Mining. Links to mining pools and Emacoin wallet are under this video. Vedran Katzhitz, Bitcoin enthusiast and founder of online training platform Bispaint, developed the computer game Etherization by analogy with Civilization, which works on the basis of Ethereum. Croatian game has no graphical interface. It's been played in the text mode, as it was done before in DOS. Katzhitz explains that the game has its own financial system, within which you can finance and build production facilities, earn income and continue to invest. The currency used in the game is Ether. Heifer International, a large charitable organization that leads the fight against hunger and poverty in the world, announced the acceptance of donations in Bitcoin. The project was implemented jointly with BitPay. Bitcoin is gaining recognition around the world, and we are pleased to offer our donors the option of payment in this universal digital currency. By reducing the cost of the commission, Bitcoin will also help us to allocate more funds to those who are in need, said the Hefe International President and CEO Pierre Ferrari, according to Foglog.com. Hefe International is far not the first charitable organization taking the donations in Bitcoin in partnership with BitPay. Earlier, this option added Child Fund International dealing with the problem of poverty among children, also American Red Cross, Greenpeace and Save the Children are working with the cryptocurrencies. This is all for today. You can contact the editorial office by phone and email in the description below this video. Put the likes and subscribe to our channel to be aware of all the events. See you in a week.